Hello, everybody. Good to be with you. Uh, it's been quite a while because I had a PC go out on me, and then I had to get a new one installed and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, here we are. So um, I wanted to talk to you about unskillful patterns because I get a lot of um, questions about this in session. About So I thought when I woke up that I wouldn't drink so much anymore. Or I thought when I woke up, I'd be a nicer guy. Or I thought that when I woke up that, um, that I'd be over my, uh, that my sex drive would be reduced or my, um, my smoking would have gone, whatever it is. And I thought I'd be nicer to my wife automatically. I thought I'd be nicer to the, I, and not only did I think I was going to be nicer to the dogs, I thought they'd sit up at sort of an attention when I came into the room because after all, I'm the enlightened one, and they should not be able to know that. And it just doesn't work like that, does it? It just doesn't work like that at all. So what, what does happen is the thing to understand is we have to go back to the beginning and see what it is that wakes up. So the thing that wakes up is not the one who wants to wake up. The thing that wakes up is awakeness itself. And if you're not, if you've not had, an, uh, if you're not currently awake, you don't know exactly what that means. If you've had an awakening experience, you have a memory that is a blurred idea of what that is. And if you've not had a, an experience at all, you probably don't know what in the hell I'm talking about. But it doesn't matter because you don't need to. Because waking up is actually not about gaining a certain set of knowledge uh, or it, it, it's really about losing a certain set of knowledge and hence the names of my books. Now I'm not plugging them and just saying, just look at this undoing, unknowing, unveiling, un, un, un. It's because we don't have to add anything. We just have to subtract. And that's what we can say that um, an awakening session is the process of <coughs> ultimate subtraction. But because it's a whiteness that wakes up, it's a whiteness that's clear. Now, I don't want to say that this body is outside of a whiteness, but this body is, I don't want to say it's within a whiteness either. The body within relativity is a real live objective thing. And, and from another point of view, the body is a, an illusion, a pattern, just a, an appearance. And how much does an appearance weigh, right? And uh, so the body, which is what? It's conditioning. You know, I hear people very often saying, boy, if I could only get in their version, if I could only get rid of Fred, right? If I could just get rid of Fred, I'd be okay. And if I could just get rid of Bob or Helen, I'd be all right. I'd just get rid of them. And what I'm going to tell you is they ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so give up trying to get rid of them. That will be the biggest step that you can take toward awakening, actually, will be to give up trying to get rid of Fred or Bob or Helen. The, your, what, 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 this Fredness, there's no Fred here. There's no one here. There's just, I know that it looks like there's somebody talking to you. And within relativity, there is somebody talking to you. But really, there's no one home. Even within relativity, there's no one home, right? The dream of relativity, the dream of separation is that there's someone home. It's a Fred Davis and he's got a teaching and he's going to teach you something today and all that is bullshit completely. So what there is here, however, is what we can call Fred Ness. There are patterns and there is, we could call Fred Ness the umbrella pattern. The, it's the umbrella pattern under which, I don't know how many, but just zillions of patterns fall. There is, um, 
there is, uh, I, I don't even know what kind of patterns they are before they join, but some of them, when they come together, then there's a symbiotic thing that takes place so that there is a breathing pattern, there's a, 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 a respiratory pattern, the, the um, God almighty, whatever the blood thing is, the blood running pattern. And um, there is, uh, you know, the, the digestive pattern, all of these patterns. And these are not, not, but they're not like individual things. They look distinct. Like cut somebody open, you think you can show them the, their digestive system. And you can show them where it is most prominent. But the truth is, is that there's no separation. So how could you show somebody a part when there are no parts? The part part is the illusion itself. That's the dream and operation. But within relativity, we're experiencing the fact that I'm a Fred Davis. This, is, this body is a Fred Davis, and damn it, he's not awake, right? And he should be. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. At biggest, most of all, he should be, and he's not. So it's a whiteness that wakes up, not these patterns, right? When we talk about, oh, if I could just get rid of all my conditioning, well, you watch what you wish for there. The uh, because if you get rid of all your conditioning then that means that the, that the unit has withered and died, right? And it's and and, and it's, it's just beginning to decay. That's what getting rid of patterns is, is decay. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, I got this cough. I've had a, I've had a, a, a low, dose um c scan and, and i mean cat scan and all that stuff and there's nothing wrong with me it just coughs when it talks and it talks all the damn time so the the patterns they can't wake up because they don't have the capacity to wake up waiting for the patterns to wake up is like waiting for this to wake up this this bottle cannot wake up because it doesn't have the capacity to wake up and actually if we from and I know Ramana had a different thing with a cow but I'm, but, but I'm just telling you my experience and my dogs are in a they're not where humans are that's for sure and we could say that and they they're and they are but they still experience a sense of separation a sense of self right they know that's food this is the mouth and these two go together and they know it's my food. How do I know? Because if Willie goes over to eat some of Jack's or vice versa, the one who is being stolen from will raise almighty hell. So, because that's my food, that's your food. So there's obviously a sense of separation, but there is no story there, which is, man, I should have gotten more food than this. I can't believe it. I mean, I, you know, I've been good all day and I'm getting, and I'm just getting this. I mean, wow, what a disappointment. And they don't think like that. They don't think like that. They don't have uh, the same, um, they don't have the same wishes and dreams that we do. They do have benchmarks for this moment. For instance, if it's four o'clock and the boys want to eat, then they, the, the, there is a benchmark that I feed them. I promise you, they go, you can, you can set your watch by it. They'll come right here. And so there is a benchmark, but the difference is if the benchmark is not met, they don't complain to each other. They just notice, oh, it's not dinner time after all. It's not that damn Fred. I wish he would get in here. Now they will come and pursue me because they have a benchmark for four o'clock and it's not being met. But if I'm doing something else and I just completely ignore them, then it could be 6.30 before they got fed. Poor babies. Now that would be a rare thing around here, just so you know. But, but, it, but, but there are times when I do forget. I just get so involved and they don't bother me. 
when they see that I'm involved, they don't bother me. I'm having, usually, sometimes they'll interrupt a session. <laughs> but there are no stories there. But my dogs are not awakened. They are awakeness, just like this is awakeness, just like that's awakeness, just like everything else is awakeness. They are awakeness, but they are unconscious awakeness. By which I mean, they don't know that they're actually oneness, God, consciousness, awakeness, awareness, whatever you want to call it. They're not, I'm not saying all those things are exactly the same, but they're close enough for this video. So they are not aware, my dogs are not aware that they are God, consciousness, Tao, oneness, whatever. They're just not aware of that. They don't have an, they're not having, now they are having uh, a non-dual experience, middle of it or not. They're right in the middle of a non-dual experience. It doesn't look like it, but it's not a conscious non-dual experience. And that's what, and, and, and when I say experience, I could say state would be closer to the truth. They're in a, they're in a, an unconscious, um, state of awakeness and over here this is the con there there's a conscious state of awakeness it wasn't always so but it's been that way for 12 years right and and count and so and it feels like forever because i can't remember how I, how i used to think i'm not going back there and trying to unearth it why would i do that so the patterns don't wake up and what do you think your skillful and unskillful patterns are? Now, this is judgmental, because I, this is never anything I tell you is gonna be true, but this is very truth. And so, what wakes up, of course, is awakeness itself. Awakeness wakes up to the fact that there is no Fred. Fred does not wake up to the fact there's awakeness. Oh, hi, oneness, I've been waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Oneness wakes up to the absence of a Fred. See, there can't be a oneness and a Fred. So, isn't that a peculiar? But that's, see, that's that math of one. There can't be a oneness plus a Fred. There's oneness or there's not. And um, whatever it is that would declare that it's not oneness is part of oneness, because there's only oneness. See, that's the funny thing about oneness. Just one of them, and this has got to be it, right? So these patterns that are playing out within oneness, if you will, which are not other than oneness, but they're playing out within oneness, they're just patterns. They're blind patterns. They're unconscious patterns. They just do what they do because it's firing. It's all, con it's all automated. And I look at my, look at, uh, if I look at this, I can see a lot of automation, tremendous automation. I had a, a great experience of that last week, which is that, <clears throat> I don't even want to tell it because it's just too bizarre. Uh, but I can promise you that the automation goes to levels that you just can't imagine until you see it for yourself. <laughs> so the, The unwinding of those patterns, which they're just patterns. There's no owner to the patterns. There's no center to the patterns. There's just these patterns. But when they these patterns, that whatever kinds of patterns they are, when these cosmic patterns, when these human-like patterns come together, with these things that have human-like qualities, partial human-like qualities, when they come together, there is there is a symbiosis. And right in the end of, and the, 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 the real uh, flag of that symbiosis is there's a thought called, wow, I'm a Freya, right? I'm a human being, right? Really, I am. That's the first story.
That's the first story. That's the, that, that is the gateway between duality and non-duality, if you want to say it. it also, and, and it's the perfectly, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, against those who uh, are looking for the I am and all that, but I am just telling you that uh, it's, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> and <clears throat> what's prior to I am is all it's cracked up to be. That's what I can tell you. So since the patterns don't wake up, guess what happens? They continue to move in much the same way that they always have, which is now, and I'm telling you, I was being judgment, judgmental, because I I can't, I don't know how to not how to, how to talk and not be judgmental, how to teach anything and not be judgmental. So there are skillful patterns and unskillful patterns, but we can rather than saying that the unskillful patterns are bad, let's just notice that from a point of view, even from full-blown awakeness, is still coming through Fredness. So there's still a Fredness spin to everything I'm telling you, to everything that is seen by this unit, all of that. There's a Fredness spin. It's not particularly profound anymore, and I don't believe in it, but it's there. And I, and, and it happened. It, it happens through this because it can't not because this this these patterns, this unit still alive. When it decays, those patterns will disappear. So if you're if your pattern if, if you have a pattern, let's not go for a big one. Um, let's say that you have an unconscious pattern, which is the way that you fix coffee or tea in the morning. Is that automatically you go to the kitchen? And there is, and you pull out a tea bag and you put on the hot water and you pull out a cup, you put the tea bag in the cup and the water heats up, you put the, put the water in there you, 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 and, and then you take the tea bag out exactly the same way every time. You know, I, I have a little wooden squeezer and I squeeze that tea bag and then I either put it in the sink or in the trash can, you know, which is closer. Eventually it will go to the trash can. So, you're, that's a blind pattern, probably, which is that you're not really with us. You're not, or you're not, you're not really with it. It's just a blind pattern. By blind, I mean is that the reason that you went into the kitchen is not because you thought, "Boy, I'm going to have a cup of tea." It's because there's a pattern there that every morning you have a cup of tea, and so that blind pattern is simply. The body gets up, the body goes to the bathroom, the back up, body goes to the kitchen and starts to fix tea. It wouldn't go to the kitchen if there was no tea in there. See? So that's automated. It's not a, it's not a spontaneous decision. There was no tea there, it wouldn't go there. It wouldn't heat up water if it didn't have water and didn't have a pot. So all of this looks like really planned out, but it's not. It's all spontaneous. It's just happening. And... <clears throat> Then I go to drink the tea, and you know, odds are I'm going to try that first, get that first sip of tea exactly like I always get my first sip of tea, which is I blow off a little bit and then I sip. Now I'm I, I'm I may become conscious with the first sip of that tea because it's startling because it's so good and it's so fresh and new. It's like oh, because it's kind of like my first cup of tea ever. Every time I have a cup, it's <laughs> just the way it works. If I look at, <clears throat> so that's calling it on me. That's a that's in a definition of a blind pattern. Well, you got blind patterns on how you drive. How do I know? Because haven't you driven down the road at some point, and been especially on the highway, and then suddenly you notice that there is. Um, That, that oh my God I've been I've been I've been unconscious for five minutes, but the car has not wrecked, right? The car has not wrecked, so somebody is at the wheel, but you're not. I mean, the car didn't wreck. If the car does wreck, <laughs> nobody was at the wheel. 
But if the car doesn't wreck and it just drives down the highway while you're thinking about, boy, how can I get a date with him or her, the, then it's just an unconscious pattern that's being followed through. And that uh, an unconscious pattern will include eyesight. It sees anything peculiar, it'll steer out of the way. And you'll wake up. It'll wake you up the, the moment, bring you back to, to the present moment as if you could ever escape it. But the, the feeling will be as you've been brought back to the present moment because of this change in the pattern. See, there's a change in the pattern because the highway is straight and I'm just going and going and going. And then all of a sudden there's a deer. That's a change in the pattern. <clears throat> that change in pattern is instantly noticed and instantly you're back at the wheel, hitting the brakes and turning the, turning the wheel. And the deer got away this time. Thank goodness. Unskillful patterns, which will very often show themselves in very petty ways. And the ego is incredibly petty. It, 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 it can't abide a slight, right? Like, Somebody comes in and they say, uh, well, I just read your book. And then they don't say anything. <laughs> I don't say like I really enjoyed it. That was a good book. I'm, you know, I'm alerted because but the pattern here is hearing that it was a really good book. Thanks. <clears throat> but if I don't hear that, it's, it's, it's not going to bother me, but there'll be something somewhere that is going to feel that slight. Okay. And the ego doesn't like it. And it'll and, and what it'll probably do is compound that slight with other imagined slights because actually the person just wanted to know that they finally you, that they finally read the book. They were not off you, they were they didn't owe you a report on what they thought about it. We thought they did, but they don't. So it's really an imagined slight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna categorize that imagined slight with every other imagined slight that I've gotten from this person, I'm gonna compound them and I'm gonna be resentful. And it'll look like I'm just resentful because they didn't say anything nice about the book. But really I'm resentful of everybody that's ever given me a slight. It doesn't even matter whether this individual, just I'm not being respected. Now there's no one here, but uh, it, there will declare to be, there will, one will declare, there will be a declaration that there's one here and that it has been slighted. Now, um, just, just so that we understand something, there's no one here, but I have a great deal of respect for this teacher. And I expect the people that I talk to to have a great deal of respect for this teacher. And they will conduct themselves in that manner or they won't be a part of this teacher. So don't think that I'm giving you license to just to do as you will, although you can't not do as you will. So it's, it's that what I'm telling is truth to you, it's just not the truth, but it's still practical, it's still practical. If, um, if you want to be a part of the teaching, don't show up at Satsang and say, hey, I really think you're an idiot. <laughs> and you're out of the room, right? So, <clears throat> but that it would be, let's, but an unskillful pattern that on my side, I would see that reporting, I just read your book, I would see that as an unskillful pattern on your part because you didn't, see, you didn't, you didn't like compliment me and, and the, therefore my feathers are ruffled. But from your side, you wouldn't see it as an unskillful pattern. You just, I read your book. What's, to be, what's unskillful about it? There really is nothing unskillful about it. But that doesn't mean another unit can't take it unskillful because skillful or unskillful is completely dependent upon the point of view that's, that's noticing this pattern. Because it really is just a pattern. It's not actually a skillful pattern <clears throat> or an unskillful pattern. It's just a pattern. But within society, we, we condone certain patterns and, um, and, and we run other, put other, we separate others. Like if you're, 
If you're going to the uh, walking to the school bus, that's a, an acceptable pattern. If you're walking to the school bus and you to the school bus and you hit the person in the head with you with a book, that's not a, that, that, that that's not a condoned pattern within a, within consensus reality. So you'll get in trouble. But it's really just a pattern. There's just a there's a pattern because there's not actually a separation in units. It's not one unit hitting another. It is within relativity, but the relativity is the dream. And what you have to do is you have to surrender to the dream. But what you want is you want the dream to surrender to you and your patterns. Because my patterns dictate that things should be a certain way. And if they're not a certain way, then those are unskillful patterns. <laughs> because I said so and I am the center of the universe it's what it feels like it feels like that for every single one of us please don't deny it it just <clears throat> there because vision is constantly going out in this conical way but it feels like I'm the center no matter where I look I'm the center now, obviously I'm the center I don't know why you can't see that I'm the center because clearly I am and your furniture in my in, in in my for the center over here, right? I'm the one. I'm the important part of all of this. <clears throat> what you will notice in the world <clears throat> is that no more than about and, and, and there are <sighs> within unconscious awakeness there are grades of clarity even if you're not even if you don't know who you are even if there's not been an awakening i mean i have to think that <clears throat> that there are people that are doing great things there are people that are doing great things that are not looking for compensation which is something this thing never understood so they're not being particularly self-centered. Now there may be some self-centered in the fact that it makes them feel good that they're a good person and that they're thought of to be a good person. Okay, but that's still minor compared to a check in the back. So what I'm gonna say is that that is a relatively skillful pattern. Being, abiding by the law is a relatively skillful pattern. Um, if you're driving, go in the speed limit. Yes, yeah, that's the law. We're back to the law. But it's not that you're trying to steal something. It's just that you're going over the speed limit. That's not a skillful pattern. Because it's not that, that, that road is not, is not set up for that. Those people are not set up for that. The, the neighborhood is not set up for that. And we know because the authorities have told us this, and they didn't just willy-nilly it. Some kind of some kind of engineering. There's some math behind that, I guarantee you. So there's relatively skillful. And then it goes down from that place, which I'm saying that's a, that's somebody who's bumping up right up against a awakening. They're right up against awakening because they're not they can see that even if they even if it feels to them like there's a center, they can see that the center doesn't amount to anything more than what's around it. Awakening is just one step beyond that where you recognize there, there's no center at all. That's the sense of separation is a dream that's being held within the truth of unity. So, my neighbors <clears throat> on, a, on a relative level of clarity and skillfulness within unconsciousness. It's, it's all automated. It's unconscious behavior. What is unconscious behavior? That is what the world is. It's unconscious behavior. That's the reason that, that, that we are at each other's throats all over the world. Because we like it. We like it because when I'm at your throat and, and I am victorious, I get your stuff. And that, that makes me very important. 
and it's vitally important that I be important. Talking, you know, if when Bet Betsy and I just are extraordinarily courteous people, I can get right brisk in session, but we're extraordinarily courteous people and we're always courteous to each other. If Betsy was to snap at me, that would be Betsy caught up in unconsciousness. It would be, and it would be a, a, an unskillful pattern, the way that she was prior to awakening, prior to quitting drinking, all of this, coming back and it's basically haunting her. You know, it's making this one suffer. But there's no one there at that point, right, saying, what do you mean by that? It just, I mean, I, she, that would not happen in one million years. So that was a really, that might happen to Bob and Helen, but it's not going to happen to Fred and Betsy. It just wouldn't. It never does. It never has. Even prior to awakening. Not on that level. We had a couple of little, um, we had a couple of arguments prior to awakening, you know, maybe three or four. But I think you count them on one hand. <clears throat> That's not bad for, you know going on 18 years. So, this, these patterns, what happens is the clearing process is just noticing the patterns without judging them. You notice that, I noticed that I was sharp with Betsy. And I might also have noticed that that didn't do well. That didn't go very well. That becomes an unskillful pattern when it becomes a pattern that doesn't bear repeating. So it doesn't have to be awful or wicked or anything. It can be just efficient. It's just a pattern that doesn't bear repeating. The thing that's noticing the pattern is not part of the pattern. And that what's noticing the pattern is awakeness. So when you notice the world, when you actually notice this glass, it looks like that's Fred noticing this glass, but it's not, there's no Fred. That is a whiteness noticing this glass. It is a whiteness noticing that this uh, session, that this, this recording has gone on probably long enough. It's a whiteness that is noticing the tumult of the world. It's unconscious awakeness that is the tumult of the world. So really conscious awakeness is noticing itself because the only thing that can notice unconscious awakeness is conscious awakeness. So noticing the world, you're spending, but noticing what's going on, noticing patterns. Oh, uh, just, you don't have to, you don't have to comment on it. You don't have to think, just notice it. If it's a good pattern, notice that it's a pattern. Notice that pattern. Because th there, is, there is no free will here. But nonetheless, there does seem to be an element of influence. And that element of influence is brought about by noticing, non-judgmentally, non-judgmentally. <laughs> Not judging, noticing. Uh, notice that I'm in my studio. I was aware that I was in my studio all along, but I'm actually taking note of the fact that I'm in my studio, or that's the feel of it. And it's just taken on a different feel, just that fast. Because when I said I'm noticing this, that uh, I'm in the study, there's immediate recognition that no, you're not. <laughs> you know, you can't fit in a study. A study is inside of you, so to speak. But I'm consciously aware that I'm that I am awakeness. Consciously aware that I'm awakeness. I'm always, we should say, unconsciously aware that I'm awakeness. That's 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 what abidance is. Is it's just awakeness just becomes the natural state for you. 
because it is the natural state ultimately anyway. So you can influence those patterns by noticing them, but not judging them and not trying to fix them. And I don't care what the pattern is. If you drink too much, start to notice it. Start noticing it. Just notice, wow, this is eight beers. And, you know, I've been off work for two hours. <laughs> wow. You know, notice it from a fresh place. Don't notice it from the Freddy, ah, yeah, and I got four more to go for. I could be for whatever. I can remember, you know, back in the day. Addiction is a compulsive pattern. It's really seeking. I'm seeking for something that will make me enough. But you can't make a unit enough. You can't bring satisfaction to an unsatisfiable unit. And they're all unsatisfiable units. Notice, 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 notice. Ah. When you're noticing, you're present. When you're not noticing, there's, it doesn't mean that, that it's necessary for you to be aware of the fact that you're a whiteness at all times because it just doesn't work like that. But if every time I stop to notice something, I'm keenly aware that it's a whiteness noticing it. Because when you are noticing something, you're spending more time being yourself because what you are is that which is noticing. And you are that which is not separate from the noticing, there is no noticer. There is noticing and there is apparently noticed, but in fact, there's only one thing going on. There's no noticer, no noticed, and no, <clears throat> there, is a, there is an experience of noticing. Experience is kind of like a sense. It doesn't mean that, that that's the truth of something. Okay, so I'm gonna get off now and I'm gonna cut a video, another video, um, much quicker. I'm not going to wait three weeks, I don't think. I mean, I can't actually know because I'm not in charge of this unit, but if I had to guess, I would say we'll have something else out very soon. Thank you very much. I love you. Good to be back and uh, be well.